Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to balance this chemical equation. And we have iron plus oxygen, and it's going to yield, or yield iron 3 oxide. It's also called ferric oxide on this side. Okay, let's begin. Remember, we have the reactants on this side. We have the products on this side. Okay, and we need to count atoms. Okay, the coefficients go in front and the subscript, like this 2 is a subscript, because it goes at the end of it. So let's count. Okay, if you do not see a coefficient, you can assume it's 1. So we, and it, so we have 1 coefficient, and then if you don't see a subscript, you can assume it's a 1. So 1 times 1 is 1, so we have 1 iron, and then over here we have 1 times 2 with the oxygen, so we have 2 and then on the product side, we have iron. We have a 1 here. 1 times 2 is 2. And then with the oxygen, we have 1 times 3. So that gives us 3. Okay, so you can tell we are not balanced. Let's begin. This will be an easy way. Why don't we change this 1 coefficient to a 2 for the iron so this will become a 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. So now we have the irons balanced, but we have a problem. Look at the oxygens. We have 2 on the reactant side and 3 on the product side. So we need to find a common denominator, which is 3. So let's go ahead and start changing the oxygen. If we multiply 2 here, 2 times 2, 3, that's going to equal 6. So we've got 6 here, but we also need to multiply the iron. So now we have 2 times 2, and now that becomes 4. Okay, but now look at our oxygen. We have 2 on this side and 6 on this side. So why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and multiply oxygen by 3. Put a coefficient of 3 in front, 3 times 2 is 6. So we're getting close. We now have the oxygen, but now look at the iron. We have a 2 and a 4, and we can easily fix this by, let's just change this coefficient of 2 to a 4. 4 times 1 is 4. Look, we are in balance. We have a 4, a 4 for iron, 6 and 6 for oxygen. So now let's just rewrite it. We have four irons plus three O2, and that's going to yield two F E two O three. So there we go. We have a balanced equation. Thanks for watching, and I hope that was helpful.